Warringah can be a wonderful place to live. It's up to us to ensure we leave the sadly deficient era of the past behind. Ratepayers is an honourable movement with many fine new community benefits for everyone. Remember you saw them here first with ratepayers. So, where do we start? Reducing rates would be a first. Requiring community consideration of just what we want from our council. Discount incentives for ratepayers who help improve our local environment is also worthy. Minimise global warming by living and working locally. It'll make a new life for our ratepayers. Change planning to allow more occupations and businesses from home. An extra three hours a day with the family is a great human and environmental gift. The big picture, along with the committee, let's search for, conceive and approve a new central business district in a suitable new location in concert with the state government. Greening Warringah, since I was a school kid in DUI up to today, Pitwater Road has been a disgusting, ugly desert. Dirty, weed covered and no shady vegetation. Let's start the planting of shade trees on all main and later suburban roads. It's a serious vegetation development. Recall those shade shady overarching canopies of Warungas and even crow's nest roads? Now, let's have some of the same enjoyment and style for ourselves. Self-regulation for simple planning and development and speedy economical approvals. It's a plus for our ratepayers. Safe and graffiti free streets. It's time to get tough. The scum of our community have defaced, rubbished and intimidated our environment. Team our rangers with the New South Wales Police Service over extended evening hours to match the vandals. Warringah's new message? Rubbish our suburb. Step into the paddy wagon. Now, it's time we became more responsible as citizens. Council can step back in its costly cover for foolhardy, irresponsible activities. User pays can also reduce the cost burden for our ratepayers. We can become a pet-friendly community. Take your pet most places, but now be responsible with that extra freedom. Antisocial pets allowed to foul our community will cost the owner dearly. Let's try for the highest ratepayer approval rating. A disagreement has two sides. Compassion and fair support is the starting point. An expanded ombudsman's service ensures the ratepayer receives a prompt settlement of a serious grievance. Recycling today is successful. A new example used computers collected for refurbishing a return to the needy. A win both ways. No waste and we help someone in need. Ensure council doesn't obstruct ratepayers who wish to achieve energy, water and sewage economies. Insulation provides the maximum in environmental gains for both heating and cooling. Rates reduction for this would be a great recognition for a homeowner's support for the environment. Serious CO2 savings. Consider the vast amount of street, public place and internal council life we burn every night of the year. Why do we still light our community at 3am? Wasteful, old-time practices don't support global warming goals. We must do better. Stormwater flowing in our roadside gutters damages our lagoons, but it's fine for all the trees in the footpath. A simple cut in the gutter waters the trees and saves our lagoons. Unit living needs community gardening zones to provide an environmental and community meeting precinct. New developments can provide them along with increased off-street parking to minimise the overcrowded street storage. Wiles, our many seas side vantage points provide great enjoyment. We need to consider how we should ensure our views are delivered to Japan and the Japanese public. A public forum can involve the best processes for the future. Talk of the Town delivered valuable findings. Child care, for example, both within council and the surrounding community was considered important. Personally, my passion is to return our lagoons and bushland to the quality they possessed when I was a kid or even my dad was. Needless damage to our natural heritage now requires community supported restoration. Proudly, I can report that our lagoon a restoration advisory board is progressing well on its task. The completion of the encircling family pathway around Narrabeen Lagoon will also be of great benefit. If our goals are the same as yours, subscribe, support and tell your friends about us. No other movement gives you continued true voting representation after the election. Netball, DYCBD and Brookvale Oval all require your community input long term. Electing ratepayers in the September Warringah election is the only chance you have to make sure your voice will be heard for the next four years. Don't make the mistake, you know what has gone on in the past. Ensure a great caring future for our wonderful location. Make our convener, Bruce Wilson, your mayor and elect all the ratepayers candidates. How to vote information will be on the website soon.